Hello and welcome to this third Ask Your Hotel Techie video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider and I'm here to share our know-how about the tall technology with you in video format. Feel free to ask your own questions, let me know where you agree and disagree and let's have a discussion. Today I would like to look at this central piece of technology that is often at the heart of the IT infrastructure of a hotel, the property management system, the PMS. And especially I want to focus on the current discussion around cloud-based versus server-based systems and the implication that it has for a hotel. PMS stands for Property Management System. But what does that mean exactly? What is this tool supposed to do? I was curious, so as so often I went and asked Google, when you go online and you look for PMS system, one of the first results that comes up organically is Captera. This software comparison site has the category of hospitality property management system. And I started counting. One, two, three, 10, 20, 30. At 200, I stopped counting. And I was not even at the bottom of the list. And the craziest part is, I still know of some systems that were not even on this list. So I guess as diverse as the term property, which can range from a 800 room, seven star luxury resort to one apartment listed on Airbnb, as diverse are the tools to manage it. So a PMS is a property internal system to manage some processes. But again, this can range from a giant ERP that covers your accounting, your housekeeping, scheduling, your POS and your minibar, but it might as well be just, let's call it a fancy Excel file or a very simple system. If you're looking for a new property management system, it is very, very important that you know exactly what the processes are you wanna depict and also what other systems it needs to integrate with. If not, you will get lost in the variety of products that exist out there. There is one big element I wanna focus on when it comes to your choice. That is the question, if you wanna use a system that is based on a server at your property, or if you rather choose a cloud-based solution. This will strongly influence your options. Let's have a look at both concepts in turn and then see the advantages of each. In-house server-based. Historically, the only way how to run a large and complex system with different access points was to have a server locally and connecting it by cables with the different outlets. This is also how PMS has evolved. So basically you have one strong computer called a server in your house that controls and connects all the different systems. Cloud-based, the increase in internet speed as well as bandwidth and the capacity increase in server technology have made the evolution of cloud-based system possible. Every end user device connects via the internet to a database that is based in the clouds, meaning a large data warehouse that can benefit from economies of scale and run efficiently and securely. Let's come back to the PMS and the advantages of an in-house solution. The biggest advantage that is also gonna be relevant long-term for a server in your hotel is the independence from the internet. If you run a system and an infrastructure in-house locally, you connect it by cable to the different outlets, then you are not dependent on the internet connection. So especially for locations that have bad internet connection or unreliable connection, this is a good reason. The second reason that in my opinion will disappear soon is functionality. As historically property management systems were developed for in-house applications, they do have a big head start. So if you purely compare functionality, cloud-based systems today are still sometimes lacking. The other element is that if you're running program on a server at your property, you do have the possibility to customize and custom develop functionalities, even if this is very costly. There is also, a, in my opinion, false advantage 
I've heard this argument a lot from hoteliers that if the server is running at my property, I have control of the data, it's my data. That might technically be correct, so the hard drive is located on site. However, that does not mean that you can actually use the data or that it's conveniently accessible to you. Now, let's go over to the advantages of a cloud-based system. First, as it is all centralized, you can really benefit from economies of scale. So elements like system administration, updates, maintenance can all be performed at once for hundreds or thousands of properties. Second, the evolution of the system is much faster and easier as whenever a user reports something or something new has been developed, it is accessible instantly compared to a server-based solution where you have to get or even buy an update. Third, security is a very big element. You store sensitive personal information, but also credit card details. And if you have a provider that is PCI compliant and also GDPR compliant, that already covers a lot of your responsibilities. Let's take a small example from PCI. If you store credit card information locally, you need to have 24 hour security for your server. And let's be honest, how many hotels have the budget to have 24 hour security personnel guarding the server room? Fourth, access is another big advantage. Wherever you are, if you have internet, you have access to your data. Especially in a more and more mobile world, this gives you the freedom to change your guest experience. Check-ins, but also check-outs, are no longer bound to a front desk. My fifth point are integrations. As mentioned in the last video, integrations with a cloud-based system become much easier. If you can use the same interface for hundreds of different users, you can optimize it and make it very easy to connect. There's no more long and expensive installation process needed. The same advantage also applies to support. If support doesn't need to connect to your local system and there's no local configurations done, this makes it much easier to find and also solve issues. So these are some of the advantages I see for each of the systems. This is clearly not an exhaustive list, so if you have other ideas or inputs, please let me know. Another interesting development that I see are hybrid systems. They're trying to take advantage of the positive element of both worlds. One example would be Protel with their IO platform, where they're trying to move a lot of the functionality out of the PMS into a cloud-based system and take advantage of that technology. Another interesting differentiator between the two is the cost model. In general, a server-based solution is an investment that you make over a certain amount of time. The cloud-based solutions are often based on monthly fees, so it can be looked at as an operational cost. There are a lot of advantages of working with a cloud-based PMS. And as they're constantly evolving, the reasons why you work with the on-site system today will get smaller and smaller. The evolution of technology with elements like the Internet of Things will bring interconnectivity to your hotel and open amazing new possibilities. To be ready for this and to take full advantage, a cloud-based system, a cloud-based PMS is critical. I hope I was able to show you the differences and advantages of a cloud-based system versus in-house infrastructure for your PMS. Let me know what you think and what other topics might interest you. Like, share and subscribe. This is Ask Your Hotel Techie. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.